Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at the solo to Home Sweet Home by Motley Crue. So this one's got some cool stuff in it. Um, once again, we are tuned down a whole step. So every string on the guitar is tuned down a whole step. So that's going to be D, uh, the low string is D, then a G, then a C, F, A, and another D. Okay, so get your guitar on that tuning. Um, and we're going to take a look at this solo. We're going to start with a bend at the 13th fret on the B string. All right, now we're going to do this little lick. All right, so how we're going to do that is we're going to start on the 10th fret on the high string, high E string. Call it the E string, it's a D string, but just, you know, we'll just go with it. So then we have 13, 12, 10 on the B string. Then again on the G string. Twelve ten on the D string, twelve ten on the A string, and move that down to the eighth fret on the A. So we're going to start out by going a little slower. We're going to speed up as the lick gets uh, gets going. So good. It's just kind of speed up as you go. All right, the next phrase. All right, so that's pretty simple. We just got one note here on the A string, eighth fret, hit it twice, then hit it and slide down to seven. Then do this again, slide back up to eight, slide to 10, so hit. It's kind of always hitting there, sliding, uh, hitting it twice, then hitting it again and sliding. So. All right, for this one though, we're gonna do a hammer from 10 to 12, and then 10 on the G, and then 12 on the D. And you do that three times. All right, then we do this. All right, so we have, we're gonna start here on the top, the 10th fret here on the G string. Pick it three times, slide down to nine, then three times on this one. Continue that going down, sliding down to five on the seven. So we have. Hit that five twice, and now we're gonna do this uh, um, pinch harmonic at the seventh fret and a whole step bend. So if you guys don't know what that is, if somebody doesn't know what that is, and it's like, it's just pure magic, right? It just the, thing, the note just starts sounding crazy. Well, what is going on is I am actually hitting the pick with the, the skin on the side of my thumb and the pick are hitting the string at the same time. And I'm doing it over a harmonic node point. So if I played that seventh fret there, and I let that, the side of my pick hit the string right, touch the string right in front of the pick. Well, I can get a bunch of different harmonics out of it. All right, I have a video, by the way, on pinch harmonics on the site, so just check that out. But you have to find the right harmonic note point for this note that he's hitting, which is right in front of this neck pickup for me. All right, so then you just get to the point where you get pretty consistent with it. So you're gonna be doing, a, just the bend itself is just. Then bend again. Okay, so that's really all that's going on. It's three bends, slow bends, and you're just hitting, hitting it uh, on a couple times uh, during the bend on the last one. And uh, you're hitting that all in harmonics. So you gotta have your pick right over that harmonic note point and just let the side of the flush of your thumb hit the string. All right, from there we have this.
All right, so that's very similar to what we did earlier. Everything's the same. The only difference is the second and third time of doing this lick, don't do a hammer on to start. You do, uh, you pick a downstroke, so I muted 10 and 12 on the A. All right, so the second and third time, you do that. All right, now we have this fast, like this next phrase, sounds like this. All right, fun stuff. So you're gonna start here at the third fret uh, on the B string and just kind of hit it, slide it up the string until you get to the 12th fret. And you're gonna jump over to the first string and it's gonna do a rapid sequence of 12, 13, 15. So just get uh, just down up alternate pick motion and try to time it with the fingers. All right, so you do that. End that lick with a, that little fast lick with a whole step bend at the uh, 15th fret. Then another one. Then you have this little descending lick. So that's 12, 13, 15 again, and back to 12. Then 15, 12 on the B. And then 14, 15, 12 on the G. Now when you play that 12, just bend it towards the floor. You're gonna bend it up a whole step. All right, now change the fingers so your third finger is doing that bend. Do the bend again, twice, release, to the 10th fret on the G, to the 12th on the D. Slide down to the third fret here on the A string. Whole step, bend and release. All right, so from there. All right, so this one's fun. We have, so we have uh, the muted 12th fret here on the A string, twice. Then hit the 10th fret and on the G and the D together. Back to that 12 on the A, then back to the, the two tens. And end it with just the 12th fret on the D. So do that whole lick twice. All right, then we kind of have the familiar thing we did earlier. That's the version where the last two, uh, the second and third one, have the, that 10 and 12 picked. All right, and the final phrase. All right, so I kind of went into the actual um, last chorus there, which I wanted to show you at the end of this video. So we just kind of, we're just kind of doing a little slight tremolo picking on the 10, then slide it down to nine, do the same thing here. Slide it down to seven, and then just do it. Hammer on seven to nine, then pick seven again, and then the same thing here. Set the five to seven there, back to five. And then you're gonna grab these, this octave here. First fret on the A string, third fret on the G. This is when the chorus basically comes back in. And then up to the third fret here, octave, hit four times, and then the fifth fret, hit twice, then the harmonic. And then another one of those things like we did earlier the previous in the rhythm video where you do that kind of dive on the, the D string and then we start these octaves again at the fifth fret you're gonna pick them once and then palm you twice just the bottom string do that four times there on the fifth fret twice now at the seventh then hit them just open twice this and you're going to end it with kind of just a D power chord, third fret on the B, second fret on the G, and the open D and A string. And that takes us back to the, 
nice piano part and stuff. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed learning the song. It's a really cool one, kind of an 80s classic. So I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.